Welcome to Chips and Salsa, where we talk about security at Intel. I'm Jerry. I'm Priya, and today we're discussing the 35 advisories Intel just posted. Yes, uh, 35 advisories addressing 66 vulnerabilities in firmware, hardware, and uh, software categories. 70% of these issues were found internally, and when we add those uh, reported through our bug bounty program, 98% are the result of Intel's proactive product security assurance efforts. Hey, that's a good news. There are 17 CVEs covering firmware updates and two resulting in microcode updates. All of this were found by Intel as we continue working to ensure Intel has the most secure platforms in the world. The firmware category covers Intel chipsets, processors, UEFI, Intel TDX, confidential computing technology, and there is one for Intel E8810 Ethernet product. Yeah, of the 47 CVEs covering software, 27 or 58% were found by Intel. Included in these are updates for the SGX SDK, the One API Toolkit, uh, TDX software, Ethernet and graphics drivers, and a range of utilities we make available for customers. Jerry, this is the third primary release of security advisories in 2025. Are we noticing any trends compared to 2024? Yeah, we are actually. Uh, compared to the first eight months of 2024, we are seeing about a 24% fewer vulnerabilities so far in 2025. Uh, and this isn't by accident either. It's something we will cover extensively in the next annual product security report for 2025. Can you give our viewers a hint? Well, I'll just say that we attribute most of this reduction to the effectiveness of Intel's silicon industry leading security development lifecycle or SDL. Uh, an effective SDL program will start to show these kinds of results over time as older products are phased out. Uh, SDL is a continuous improvement effort. So as we record escapes, we update our SDL requirements to catch those in future projects. So the result is that products developed in recent years have significantly fewer escapes than products developed in earlier years. Well, that's amazing. And I can't wait to see the next Intel product security report. Viewers can also find the 2024 report at the link below. Yeah, and they can find all of today's security advisories at intel.com slash security. Given it's Patch Tuesday, many other vendors have also released security updates today. So we encourage customers to evaluate affected systems and update as soon as possible. Yep, and Priya, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you, Jerry.